This is a video tutorial on how to work a tubular bind off in the round from knit one purl one ribbing. Um, we started out with a tubular cast on and did some knit one purl one ribbing and now what we're going to do is bind off and it'll look just like this. The bind off and the cast on are exact duplicates of each other, replicas of each other. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to transition from the knit one purl one ribbing to a few rounds of um, double knitting to start the tubular bind off. And we do that by working four rounds of double knitting. We're going to start by knitting the first stitch and then we bring the yarn forward, slip the second stitch from point to point, then knit the next stitch, slip, knit, and when you slip those purls, you slip with the yarn forward, and you continue knitting the knits and slipping the purls to the end of the round. Okay, so we finished that uh, first round of working the knits and slipping the purls. Now we're going to do the second of four rounds, and this involves slipping the knits from point to point and bringing the yarn forward and working the purls. Take the yarn back, slip the knit, bring the yarn forward, work the purl, slip, purl, slip, purl, and we're going to do this to the end of the round. So we have completed that second round of slipping the knits and purling the purls. And you can see that slip right here in front of the purl from the first round is still evident on the front. That's to be expected. This time the third round is the same as the first, which means we're going to knit the knits and we're going to again bring the yarn forward, slip the purl, take the yarn back, knit, yarn forward, slip, yarn back, knit, and we'll continue doing this again to the end of the round. And now we're ready to start the fourth round and final round of the double knitting in preparation for the uh, sewn tubular bind off. So we're slipping the knit straight from tip to tip, bring the yarn forward, work the purl stitch, slip the knit, work the purl, slip the knit, work the purl until we come to the end of the round. Okay, so we've finished working the double knitting rows. We've done those four rounds, which creates two new rows on our work. And now we're ready for the last step of the tubular bind off and this is going to be a sewn portion so we need to have a tapestry needle and uh, two stitch markers. You measure your tail, you're going to cut the working yarn now and your the tail needs to be at least four times the circumference of your knitting. So I measured around here four times and now I have my tail and I've threaded it on a tapestry needle. What we're going to do now is the same thing as a Kitchener bind off on one needle, but we're going to be doing it in the round. So we have a little bit of a special technique right at the beginning so that when we get to the end, we can connect it in the round. And that is we're going to put one of the stitch markers on this first knit stitch and let the stitch marker hang down to the front like this. Then we're with our tapestry needle coming with the working yarn coming from the back needle. We're going to go through this first stitch as if to knit. Let me enlarge this so you can see it up close. So we go through the first stitch with the tapestry needle as if to knit and slide it off the knitting needle. Then the next stitch up is the purl and the next stitch is the knit. We're going to go to the front leg purl wise with the tapestry needle and pull the working yarn all the way through. Try not to wrap it around your knitting needle like I just did. So now we've taken this first knit stitch has come off. And 
and we've got our stitch marker hanging on the front. Now we're going to mark this purl stitch the same way. We want to mark the front leg with the stitch marker and let the stitch marker hang off the back. Now, the second step is to go through that first purl stitch as if to purl and take it off the knitting needle with the tapestry needle. Then you come between the next two stitches with the tapestry needle, come from back to front, straight through, catch that front leg of the next purl stitch and pull it to the back and pull the tapestry needle all the way through. Now we've removed two stitches, a knit stitch and a purl stitch, and we've got our stitch markers connected to those two. The remainder is worked in two stitches, two steps. So the first one is when there's a knit stitch presenting itself, you take that off with the tapestry needle as if to knit, and then you skip the purl, go to the next knit, and go through the front leg as if to purl, and pull the yarn all the way through. Now we have a purl stitch presenting. With the tapestry needle, we take the purl stitch off purl-wise. We skip this knit, come from the back with the tapestry needle between the two stitches to the front, catch that front leg with the tapestry needle and bring the tapestry needle through to the back. That's the tricky part. Oops, and we've caught our knitting needle again. And snug it up. Now we're back to step one. Slip the knit stitch, see it's a knit, the column of knits coming up, slip this knit stitch off as if to knit, move to the next knit stitch, which is right here, go through the front leg purlwise. Now we have a purl stitch presenting so we take it off purlwise, bring the tapestry needle to the back, come between the, these two stitches, catch the front leg of the next purl, and go to the back. We have a knit stitch, so we catch the front knitwise, skip the purl, go into the front leg of the next knit. Here we have a purl, so we take it off purlwise, skip the knit, go into the front leg of the next purl from the back. Take it off knitwise, go through the next knit, take it off purlwise, come from the back. Come forward, catch the front leg of that next purl. Take it off knitwise. Go through the next leg of the knit stitch purlwise. Take this off purlwise. Skip the knit. Come through the back. Pick up that first leg of the next purl and go through it knitwise. We have a knit stitch, so it comes off knitwise. Skip the purl, go through the front leg of the next knit purlwise. This is a purl, so we take it off purlwise. Skip the knit, come from the back and catch that front leg of the next purl knitwise. Now we're coming up to the end of this needle, and we'll do something. A special at the end so that we can continue to the end of the round. Now we always need to have four stitches on here to do our maneuver, or at least three, because we need this one, this one, and this one to make a maneuver. So we're going to take this one off, Skip this one, go through the front here. Now we have three. So we take this one off, 
skip this one, go through the front leg of this one. Now we only have two, so we can't do the next maneuver, right? So what we do, I'm do doing magic loop. So I'm just gonna pull my needle through, pull the cable through so these are moved to the back. Or if you were on two circulars, you're just gonna move those two stitches to the next circular. Get them back up on the needle. And then we just continue in the same fashion. Take this one off knitwise, the next go through purlwise, until you have two stitches remaining on this needle. So I'm gonna do that now, and then we'll come back in a second when I've got that done, and I'll show you how I finish it up and join it in the round. Okay, here we are back at the um, end and the beginning, here's the beginning. We've got our last two stitches on here. We can't really do any more, but we want to incorporate those two with these two over here so that we join it perfectly for that um, beginning and end of the round. So I'm moving the stitches to the other end of the needle. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to enlarge this, and I'm going to show you how I put these back on the needle. So here we have our first stitch that was slipped off. We put it on the stitch marker. We're just going to slip that straight over to the knitting needle and take the stitch marker out. So it's back. Now we need to put this one back on the knitting needle. So we want it to go, we don't want it to go this way, we want it to go this way. Okay, so it's the proper stitch mount, and we'll take it off. So we have those back, so now we're gonna slide the knitting needle back to the other end so we can work with it. And remember, these two have already been worked once, and these two have been worked once, so we've just got to connect them one time, and we should be finished. So we've got the knit stitch here. These are the last two of the round, and these were the first two. We're gonna take this one off as if to knit, and go through this stitch purlwise. That finishes it. Then we're gonna take this one off as if to purl, come from behind and grab this one, the front leg, and go through it knitwise. And we can pull these the knitting needle off. So now we have a very nice join here. We can fiddle with it a little bit to equalize these stitches that got stretched out a little bit. You can use your tapestry needle to make any adjustments, but that looks really pretty. This tail you can use to just weave down the inside of your um, ribbing here. You can just go like this with your tapestry needle and pull it down through there. So now we have our tubular bind off and it looks like the stitches just roll over the end perfectly like that. It matches our tubular cast on down here. So both edges look exactly the same. Gives a really nice finished look. This can be used for socks, uh, fingerless mitts, hats, ribbing, Looks very pretty. This is where we joined in the round right here.